Hello, it's Ruth from Delightful Planner and I have you here today while I unbox the Hobonichi Techno... Is it Techo? I always want to say Techno and I know it's not. Um, anyway, um, I have you here today while I do my Hobonichi unboxing. Now, if this is the first time to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you've been here before, you may be thinking, oh dear God, why on earth has she got another planner? Well, I will go into that um, a bit later on. But first, I thought we could unbox this together because I'm dying to see inside this. Now, this year, Hobonichi have gone with the lovely pale pink box. This is my first Hobonichi. But I've heard many fabulous things about it over the years. And I'm desperately hoping it lives up to expectations. Oh, ooh. Now, I went for the Cousin, which is an A5 size. Let's get these out of the way. And I got the, what was it called? The Vitamin Dot cover. Oh, this is a really pretty shade of yellow. I'm filming this at night, so I have got my lamp on. Although I have got it on a natural light setting, but it isn't actual natural light. But that colour, I like that yellow and I'm not a yellow fan. But it looked really pretty on the website, so I ordered it. Because otherwise I wasn't too enamoured with the rest of the choices. And here's my Hobonichi cousin. Now, I'll get that out of the packing in a second, we can have a good look at it. Oh, this is the freebie that they send with everybody's um, orders. So you've got the Hobonichi pen and a little plate that looks like um, toast, basically, with a bit of melted butter on. Which is a nice quirky touch. And I got the cover on cover as well. Have I got the A6 cover on cover? I have. Oh, my word. What a ninny. Oh, have I? Or is it, it folded over? No, no, I think I managed to order the A6. How very clever of me. Oh, you mini Ruth. Oh, well. Moving on while I'm on camera. I'll have to find a nice new home for that. Right. So there's the inside of the A5 cover. See, at least I got the right size with this, but then I ordered them together. Right, so let's get the wrappings off and see how this all works in reality, she says. Oh, you can tell this is late at night. My brain's even getting foiled by the wrapping. Oh, that is sturdier than I was expecting. feels like material on the outside and more sort of vinyl-y on the inside. Oh, and there is the bookmarks as well. I have to admit, the first thing that called to me on the website was this pretty blue colour when I had to, on the inside of this, when I was first looking at the website. And what's that there? Life book. So you've got card slots there, how many? One, two, three, four, five. And then what's that, a little sticky tag holder that goes there. You've got a pocket there, secretarial pocket there. And then this is where your book goes inside. So let's get inside of the book. Oh, another. So I'll just bang into the camera thing there. And there we go. Oh, so it's... This is my life. This is my book. Damn straight. Basically, it looks like it's showing you the other products. That's there. Now, I'll be honest. I don't speak Japanese or read Japanese. Is obviously, this is writing. So I'm guessing that from the illustrations. And let's get to the real heart of the matter, which is this. Now then. 
why did I go and get myself a Hobie Munchie? Well, I got it because I have been seriously reviewing my planner system now for several months and I've been sitting down and thinking through what works and what doesn't work in my current systems and the reasons why behind it and also seriously thinking about what I have upcoming in 2017 because I know this is going to be a busy year for me. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, you won't know this, so I'll mention it again. But if you are, oh, you know, I've already watched a few of my videos. I may have mentioned this before. I work in libraries and we're going through huge changes at the moment. Um, the authority I work for has gone through a big restructure. That's really sturdy. Um, and as of April we are reducing staff by 40% and we're handing two thirds of our libraries over to volunteers. So the next three months of my life are now gonna be spent um, training volunteers, helping them get set up so that they're ready to take over the running of the libraries that they're gonna be involved with and supporting the other one third of libraries that are staying with staff, but they also do still need volunteers to continue. At the same time, I'm going to be starting a new job that doesn't currently exist in the library service that doesn't currently exist. And I'm going to be taking on staff who are in the same situation. So they're going to need support and mentoring. So there's a lot, there's a lot. And that's just work, never mind the family and all the other bits and pieces that go on. You know, I'm a working mum, I have three young kids, I have twin five-year-old girls and a little boy who turns three next month. So I'm sort of busy on all of the fronts, all of the fronts I am busy and I was trying to think how I could fit all of that in one book. Um, because the main system I have found that has worked for me in the past is the bullet journal system. But it hasn't worked on all fronts. And one of the main things I've struggled with has been future planning. Um, so if I think about a task once... Um, I like to be able to write it down in a day of a diary, put it there and I don't have to think about it again. And I can't currently do that in a bullet journal system because basically you write it down and I would then have to index it. But I have I do that in a, a massive degree. So, you know, most days I already have tasks that I've already thought about and I've written them down. So, for instance, regular tasks that I do such as... Um, monthly admin or if it's in giving the cats their flea treatments I will quite happily sit down at the beginning of the year and I will write in a day um, on each month that that task needs to be done and do it in advance because that is a regular routine task but there'll also maybe other things that are coming up such as the volunteer training that I've got at the moment before each of those sessions I will have resources that I need to bring with me I may have things that I need to review I may have questions that somebody asked at a previous session that I need to find out the answers to um, and I can have different collections for all of those things in a bullet journal system. But what I have found that worked for me in the past that I was much more efficient with was when I was using the um, DIY Fish inserts day on a two page version 2.2 where I could just literally write that on a day and have a specific day and then it was a case of right that task could then leave my mind because when it got to that day I would flip on my planner and oh there the thinking was when I'd done it before and I didn't have to keep reminding myself about it in my head. Now in the bullet journal system I just haven't been able to find the space or the way to do that properly so I wanted a dated planner again and I wanted it in A5 because A5 is the size I keep coming back to it's the size that's always worked for me in the past. Um, so I went and got myself a Hobonichi. Oh, sorry if you can hear that. My little boy's chattering to himself. He has been put to bed, but it's right. So now let's get into the Hobonichi. So A5. It's got the year here first. Um, right, it's got the months. So it's got 2017. It has got the dates from the previous year in slightly smaller text and the year for next year, which is 2018, which seems a bit unbelievable already. And then it's got its um, six months on two pages. And what I am planning to use this for is to 
do my health tracking that I did in my bullet journal, but I could have it here so I could be able to review six months at a glance. And then if you flip it over, you have another six months at a glance. And I should say, no, I shouldn't say, I'll say it next. It's fine. So there we are, that's your year, and you've got it where you put the squares, and I was planning to use that as a tracker. You have got three squares at the top there, so you can maybe list the top tracks. Um, tracks? Tasks for this month. Or you could put inspirational quotes or activities you wanted to do. I may just try and put the priorities for that month, and then you've got space under here to be able to make notes. And then you move on to your monthly view. So you get a month and two pages, and it started off in 2016 in December. Obviously, we're now in January, and it does this. So all of 2017 has a monthly view like this. The squares for each of the days are a really nice size to be able to fit a lot in. The monthly views are where I'm currently planning to put things like any appointments that my kids have got going on or my partner's sort of work schedule or holidays, my holidays, and also where I'm planning to put my staff holiday so I can have a, a very sort of high overview of what is going on in my life on all fronts. And I may be able to fit all of that in the boxes or it may be that I, I come up with a key system. I imagine I'll probably have to come up with a key system um, colour-coded because I love the colours. It's what makes sense to me. So I've got them for each of the months. And it's also got January, February, March. Oh, so it's got three months into 2018 as well. That's really handy for when you're having to um, prepare for the upcoming year. And then it starts on the 52nd week in December as it moves into January it's got highlighted down there and then this is your weekly overview and you can see here it's got the timestamps here it does it in the 24 hour clock so it starts at 6 a.m. and goes all the way through till midnight so there's only five hours of your day that you're missing out and then again at the top of each of the days it has these three darkened squares so that you can um, list top tasks things it could actually be non-time specific tasks that you need to do that day can all be listed there and it does this again for the whole year she says managing to um not to get to the end of the year and then when it gets to the end of december with this weekly view it has this page here for turning the page to a new year and I thought this would be really good for laying out some goals for the year. Maybe doing like a level 10 life spread. So moving that collection from my Lodge Turn bullet journal, which I'm not planning on giving up. I just won't be using it as much and putting it in here. And then it has January, remember this, which implies that they're sort of expecting you to either put perhaps memories from the month or important things that are going on this month that you need to prioritise that you can put there and then it gets into the daily pages. Now this is the reason why I got this planner because it has the year, the month, the weeks and the days and it's all in one book because what I struggled with for a really long time with my DIY fish inserts is I loved her layouts and I loved the fact that with her version 2.2 you could even lay it out so you could see the weeks and the months and have it all folded out and see everything all in one go. I could never work out how to fit in more than three months at a time in a planner. And I've done it before, I've printed everything and just gone, oh, well, I'll just stack it all together and I could maybe even buy some individual rings and hook them on. But you ended up with something that was about that thick. The beauty of the Hobonichi is that it uses Tomo River paper, 
which is famous for its quality, its lightness and its thinness. So look at that. When you think it has got a full year of 2017 in there for a view, it's got monthly spreads, not just of 2017, but includes December of last year, plus the first three months of 2018, a weekly view of every week of 2017, and dailies, and even have some note pages in the back. And it's only that thick. And it's not, it's not that heavy. It is heavier than say my Leuchtturm book, but my Leuchtturm doesn't contain this many pages. I mean, how many pages are in this book? I don't think it lists them. And look, it even has each month marked and numbered. One thing I would say was I wish it had the time, a bit more time sort of spread out down here. I would have preferred if it was all the way down, but if necessary, I can mark that out. And then look, it ends 31st of December, ends on a Sunday, because as all as planner folks know, 2018 is a Monday start, which is very exciting. And then we've got note pages, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. And then it's got a timetable, you could put there, a graph, <laughs> could have a chart. Um, gifts to from interesting favorites oh right so you could actually list your favorites here of films you've seen and things like that from 2017 my 100 you know I've watched so many Hobonichi videos and it is completely different when you've actually got it in your hands sorry this would be sitting down and looking at it and then you've got these extra pages in the back Remember this and address this for four people. Oh, this is the age chart where you can actually look and see what year someone was born and how old it makes them. Or how old they will turn this year. That's actually quite handy. Sorry, I've instantly gone to 2011 because that's the year my daughter was born. Daughters. Um, and they're going to be six this year. And then my little man's going to be three. And there we are. Now I've heard this paper is so thin. It feels like Bible paper. Or dictionary paper. And that they're using there. And I've heard fabulous things about the way that it takes ink. So let's get it in situ. And right, let's see if I can do this on camera. So basically I'm planning to put my mould to one side, my, oh you see this is where I should have kept this like this, right, ah you see I'm used to jacketing books with working in the library, or have I said this too soon, you shouldn't start singing until the book is in room, right, there we go, it's in got the two pen loops and the plan is that when you put a pen in there what a lot of people do is you can have two separate pens or you know what I can get this one out put the baby out nice little that melamine little tray there and you can use the pen to almost like lock the book together and then I'm going to have to work on them. So then you just... The pen loops are massive. Right, put them through there. And you would have to lock that in with a catch because look at that. Can you see? Can you see how big that pen loop is? You could fit two pens in there. I'm going to. Where are my pens? So my pen 
of choice generally is the cheap and cheerful Uniball Micro. And I know I normally say, oh, I buy these by the dozen, and I'm not kidding, I actually do buy them by the box full. So there we go. I mean, it's not a great big pen, but I think, would that slide in there with that? Oh, not quite. Oh, it's a bit, a bit paddy. I bet I could get two of these in at the same time now. Da -da -da -da. And then I'm going to have to go and order myself another cover on cover. Right, so if we slide that in there like this. And then we gap that. And you can, look at that. You can get two pens down there. So if you're a lover of, say, fountain pens or another type of pen that's really thick, you could definitely carry it around with this. Or, and then it locks the book. I mean, that stays shut. You could do it where you do. Two separate pens. And once that shuts quite happily as well. I mean, there is, there's plenty of wiggle room on the cover of this book. But I know a lot of people say use these as like art journals and bits like that. Me bobbing the camera stand again. I'm not used to it. And you've got your two strands, so you could use it. Two strands, that's not their name, Ruth. What are they called? Bookmarks. Honestly, it's been the end of a really busy day, folks. Right. So, you could have one on your month. And one on your week. And then it's easy flippability too. Now I'm wishing there was a bit more note paper in the back. I was listening to the videos and someone was saying, oh, there's 14, you know, 12, was it 12 or 14 pages? But I was only half listening as I was like doing the washing up and I'm guessing she must have been talking about these pages as well. And actually I'll just ring a bell because somebody Oh, I can't remember her name now. I will find the video so I can link them below because she had the brilliant idea of actually getting your hands on some more. Well, she did it with more Tomo River paper, but just actually papering over these. And then you could use them as like additional note papers or note pages. Because I was thinking I could have my monthly trackers on these but obviously if I did that it would be like six months worth which doesn't really make sense for the whole year oh, look at this look 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 you open it up lies flat instantly another reason I love them I don't know why notebooks that don't lie flat bother me so much. I didn't even realise it was a thing until I got my hands on the light term and I was like, yeah, it lies flat, whatever. And then I realised how much I enjoyed the fact that a notebook stays open and you're not going to fight against it and press against it as you're writing. Particularly because I'm a left-hander and I, I'm a left-handed underwriter. Right, let's see how this writes then. Got to get a bit of paper. Oh, let's use this. I got this years ago in a Primbles box. It makes a pumpkin. And as part of my 2017 use it or lose it mentality, I'm going to finally actually start using the paper. So this is... Oh, it's a uniball. So... Maybe it's different if I'm not writing at a funny angle. 
So it is ballpoint, isn't it? Now everyone was raving about these pens. I'm going to read the paper I'm writing on. Right, let's get a bit of random card or something. Oh, a random bit of paper. Oh, honestly, I'm normally I'm drowning in paper. Right. Still can't believe I got an A6 cover on cover. I know this is a nice little book, I like the back. So we'll go Hobo. It's a nice thin Nietzsche pen. Let's see if I can write nicer. Yeah, I don't like that pen. What a shame. I mean, it's nice it's got the different colours on. It's quite wide to hold, but it'd have to be, wouldn't it, with four barrels in. Oh, three. Three barrels in. It's got black, blue and red ink. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure I can find that a loving home. I do like the colour. Apologies. I completed my video and then realised that we'd been cut off. Um, so I've just played it back and found that we got to the pen point and I was just saying that it's a lovely pretty colour on the barrel, a nice pale blue. And if you like ballpoint pens, um, I know there's lots of people that absolutely adore these, it's just not my cup of tea. So, right, that's it. That was my unboxing of the Hobonichi. Um, I may do plan with my videos in the future if I can work out how I can do that in a functioning planner without giving away loads of my personal info because I go here, there and everywhere. But if I can, I will do those videos later on and you will no doubt be seeing it throughout the year because I am making the bold statement right now here on the 4th of January 2017 this is my planner for 2017, for the whole year. And like I say and maybe where it gets used with other bits and pieces like the Malden and my Traveller's Notebook it will definitely be getting used alongside my Leuchtturm but they're going to be my dynamic duo for the year my Leuchtturm and my Hobonichi there we are, said it, it's going to be my planner which is a mad thing for a planner addict to say but otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video and my ramblings if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below are you already a Hobonichi user do you have top tips and tricks that you care to share please do or if you've been sharing videos on YouTube already let me know um, I may have already watched them because I've been gorging myself on Hobonichi videos for quite a while now hence I indulged or right or took the plunge no, no, let, let's stick with indulgence. It was an indulgence. Um, and got the planner. And otherwise, that is that. I will see you later. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.